So first of all, we will see before starting any dry needling session, what are the general standards and guidelines we have to follow. Nails should be smooth and short before giving dry needling session. Physiotherapist must wash and clean his or her hands with soap and lukewarm water. So before giving any treatment session, you have to dry your hands by using single use disposable paper towels. It's a very important we have to get a signed consent from from the patient before giving dry needling session. The skin over which the treatment will be applied should be cleaned. Now we have a needle in our hand. Here we have to take care we should not touch the needle shaft. So next is the general standards and guidelines for dry needling during treatment. We must ensure that during a single treatment session we must treat 3 to 5 muscles not more than that. Then after that we have to find out the trigger point. To find out the trigger point, apply firm pressure in the perpendicular direction over painful muscle fibers and patient will show jump sign at trigger point. But here we have to take care. When we are going to palpate the trigger points, our hands should be uncovered. After palpating the trigger points, then wear sterile gloves before applying dry needle. So now what are the general standards and guidelines after treatment of dry needling? Single use needles should be disposed of in a sharp containers. Don't put the needles here and there. Any disposable such as cotton wipes or similar should be disposed of in an appropriate manner. Allow the adult patient appropriate time on the treatment table before they return to standing.